Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is Episode 6, and this is WWE Main Event. As the road to Backlash continues tonight in our main event, we got an epic tag team matchup signed featuring two men who will do battle at our first Universe Mode pay-per-view in a couple of weeks' time. Tonight, you will see the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura team up with the Prince Finn Balor to take on number one contender for the Intercontinental Gold, Sheamus, as well as Jinder Mahal. That is going to be a massive tag team matchup in our main event tonight as the road to Backlash continues. We are getting set to kick things off with a rematch from a couple of weeks ago on Raw that we are going to touch on momentarily. Here comes the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. This is going to be a good one, folks. Absolutely trust me. So it was a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Shotzi went one-on-one -on -one with Bianca Belair. It was an epic contest that saw Shotzi bringing Bianca to her absolute limit. And on a few occasions, actually getting close to putting Bianca Belair away. Bianca's strategy throughout the match, she went through that, went for that, I should say, super elbow drop a couple of times. It missed on a few occasions. You see on that one, it nailed, and Bianca picked up the win. But Shotzi's effort was so extraordinary that management has decided to give her a rematch here tonight. And as you see, a couple of weeks ago in Raw, the respect was shown and earned in that matchup between these two women. But tonight, it's time to do battle once again inside the squared circle. It's the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, looks to take on Shotzi. Here comes the woman herself. This is going to be a good one here to kick us off on WWE Main Event. And the big thing for Shotzi here is a win over Bianca Belair will earn her a future WWE Women's Championship match. We found that stipulation out when this match got announced on the previous episode of Monday Night Raw. Bianca versus Shotzi, this rematch tonight. It is high stakes for both women. Bianca, who will defend the championship on pay-per-view in a couple of weeks, is yet to have an opponent. However, if Shotzi picks up the win against Bianca Belair tonight, it will be round number three at the pay-per-view backlash. Will Shotzi earn that championship opportunity? Will she defeat Bianca Belair tonight in this awaited rematch? There's definitely high stakes and high reward for the young Shotzi Blackheart in her career. I'm looking forward to this one, man. It's going to be a great night here on Main Event. Also tonight, we are going to find out the final participant in the Cruiserweight Championship match at Backlash. Of course, that epic tag team main event between Sheamus and Jinder Mahal taking on Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura and Finn Balor later tonight. But here we go with our opening contest. This is the rematch you guys have been waiting for. Shotzi versus Belair. The bell has rung and we are underway. If Shotzi picks up the win, she is first in line for a women's championship contest. And that is all due to her efforts a couple of weeks ago on Raw taking Bianca Belair to the limit. The reason we are getting this rematch here tonight. The women's division has certainly been heating up as of late. Of course, it was last week on main event we saw Candice LeRae pick up a huge, some saying upset victory of our decorated woman in her career herself. That would be Bailey. She tapped her out in the center of the ring. Could Candice LeRae be eyeing up a future women's championship opportunity if Shotzi cannot get the job done here tonight? She went for a cover early there. Shotzi clearly going to try to capitalize on every moment she can to put the women's champion away. That is definitely going to be sound strategy. Blair. Nice move there. Blair didn't pull out her biggest maneuvers in that first matchup. Instead, she went for a couple of different things to kind of throw Shotzi off. We talked about it when we were showing the highlights. She went for the elbow drop a couple of times. She missed on one occasion, nailed on two other occasions. And it was the third time was the charm for Blair in that matchup. But she was able to put Shotzi away with that macho man-like elbow from the top rope. Now Shotzi, big time knee, man. It's going to be moves like that. She could have just knocked out the women's champion, but she gets her shoulder up at one. But it's going to be moves like that. Quick striking and staying away from the fast-paced move set of Bianca Belair. You know, she is strong. She is agile. Belair absolutely the full package in that ring. It looks like Bianca could be going to the well with what did hurt Justice last time. Will she hit that elbow? Again, that is what put her in the driver's seat last time. There it is. But it's early on in the matchup. She knows it's going to be effective, but it's just too early to put 
somebody as tough as Shotzi away. Nice move there as Blair could be going up for elbow drop number two. She's a little bit far away. I don't know if she's going to second guess the, second guess this or what. She's going for it, but that time she went to the well and there was nobody home. Shotzi had that move scouted again. That's what put her away last time. Bianca already hit one early on in this matchup. Too early to hit two as Shotzi had it scouted. Now she sends Blair to the outside looking to take a breather in here and try to get the momentum back on her side. This is a huge opportunity for Shotzi. She's never gotten a women's championship opportunity here in the WWE. And she sends Blair to the outside again. That was a hard tumble for the women's champion. Now Shotzi going to go after. But Shotzi looking to earn that future championship matchup against the woman she's facing tonight. And of course, like we said, if Shotzi can pick up the win, that match will be the women's championship match on pay-per-view at our first universe mode pay-per-view, which already has a couple of matches announced. The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. Nakamura and Sheamus. The World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Viking Raiders defend against RK Bro in a rematch from Universe Mode Episode 1. If you did not see that, it was an epic tag team encounter. Go check that out. Of course, we have the Cruiserweight Championship on the line. The six-pack challenge. We'll find out the final participant in that matchup later tonight. Is Bianca Belair going to the top rope again, but Shotzi has it scouted. Cross body. Oh, Shotzi catches Belair. And slams her down. Nice counter. Now Bianca with the counter by herself. A nice move by Shotzi. Of course, also at Backlash. We've been building to it the last couple of weeks as the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship continues to progress. The semifinals coming up on the next episode of Raw. The winner of that tournament will challenge Bobby Lashley for the WWE title at Backlash. This is just a handful of our matches so far scheduled for the Backlash pay-per-view. It's going to be up and coming up very soon here on the channel. As we get back to the contest in the ring, Shotzi versus Bianca Belair. Let's see if we will decide our women's championship match this evening. Or will Belair be victorious again? And good to a collar and elbow. Bianca picks up Shotzi. She's got her over her shoulder. This is the strength of Belair that we have discussed. Truly the full package is our women's champion. She's fast, she's agile, she's strong. She's got a little bit of everything inside the squared circle. She goes to the top rope, but Shotzi's right there. Right hand. But Bianca comes down with the elbow drop. And now she's going to follow it up. Standing moonsault for the women's champion. And Bianca heading back up again. Is she going for the elbow drop? No! 450 splash from the women's champion. Into the cover. Shotzi gets the shoulder up at the last second. What a maneuver. We've come to expect that elbow drop over the last couple of weeks, but Bianca pulls out the 450 splash, and you got to think she decided to mix it up after Shotzi had the elbow drop scouted earlier on in the matchup, but Shotzi able to get the shoulder up just at the nick of time and saves her women's championship rights. Bianca is still in this, man. You cannot keep the women's champion down. Shotzi's going to have to do anything she can to get back into this as Bianca just swat and Sashi there. Well, excuse me, sat Shotzi there. Mutso! Bianca's really getting into her, getting into her groove now. She's unloading some big time maneuvers on the challenger. The women's championship not on the line tonight, but an opportunity is. Shooting star press. Now Bianca's going to the top rope again. What? Could she possibly be looking for an elbow drop? Will it be the 450? Oh, Shotzi's getting back to her feet. Belair going to think otherwise. It's the smart strategy of the women's champion. She's got her over her shoulder. Bianca Belair. Down goes Shotzi. And after a, f a flurry of big time maneuvers from the women's champion, followed up with that, I got to think, is Shotzi going to be able to get out of this here? Oh my God, she did. Shotzi somehow, some way, gets the shoulder up. And Shotzi's fighting back here. A woman's title opportunity is on the line. She does not want to give an inch over Bianca Belair, especially since this is the second time around. This is her big opportunity. And an elbow drop of her own to the woman's champion. She's starting to fire up here. She's lighting up Bianca after she definitely took a beat in the last few minutes. Nice clothesline sends Bianca down to the mat below. 
Will this be Shotzi's big opportunity? But there's the women's champion taking Shotzi off her feet. Great matchup here, following up on that classic we had a few weeks ago at Raw. Look at the strength from the women's champion. Muscles her up and brings her back down. And now she's going back to the top rope. Bianca, what is she looking for? Elbow drop! The big time elbow drop to Shotzi. And now Shotzi's on the shoulders. Look at the strength of the women's champion again. And that might just be the KO blow that knocks out Shotzi's championship opportunity. What a flurry of offense in this matchup from the women's champion. Can Shotzi survive once again into the cover? It's two. Not today. The women's champion Bianca Belair gets her hand raised for the second time in a row over Shotzi. What a great matchup here on main event. The rematch from a couple of weeks ago on Raw that everybody wanted to see. Shotzi once again puts up a, a valiant effort, an amazing effort. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. My question is now, who will be next in line to challenge Bianca Belair for the Women's Championship, especially with Backlash coming up in a couple of weeks' time? Let's keep things going here on WWE Main Event. It's time to fill that sixth spot in the six-pack challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship at the Backlash pay-per-view. It's a triple threat matchup. Who will die and who will survive? This is going to be a good one, folks. Strap in. You're not going to want to miss a second of this Cruiserweight action as here comes Angel Garza. Getting his second opportunity. The following contest. his way to the ring from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel Garza. You could almost look at this triple threat match tonight as a second chance for all the challengers involved, and you will see the challengers as they make their way to the ring, but of course it was last week on main event, Angel Garza, an absolute phenomenal contest against one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time, Rey Mysterio. But of course, Rey Mysterio picked up the win in that matchup, and he solidified his spot for the Cruiserweight Championship match at Backlash. But Angel Garza's got a second chance to shine here tonight. It's a three-way dance, one fall to a finish. There's only one spot remaining in that six-pack challenge for the currently vacant WWE Cruiserweight Championship that will go down on pay-per-view in a number of weeks. Angel Garza, your first participant, but here comes participant number two. They call him the Irish Ace, Jordan Devlin, former Cruiserweight champion in his own right. His first from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds. He is the Irish Ace, Jordan Devlin. Well, so far, qualified for the Cruiserweight Championship match at Backlash, Mansoor. Santos Escobar, Grand Metalik, Rey Mysterio, and Isaiah Swerve Scott. Those are the five men of six that have qualified thus far. One spot remains, and we're going to find out who's going to take that spot in moments. Jordan Devlin, a couple of weeks ago here on Main Event, took the loss to Mansoor. It was the second qualifying matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship, so Mansoor booked his ticket that night. Will Jordan Devlin be able to bounce back? As he is a former Cruiserweight Champion, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, He's looking to become a two-time holder of the Cruiserweight gold. He's got to get through this three-way dance here tonight. Angel Garza, Jordan Devlin, and this man, the one, the only, Ricochet. This is going to be Cruiserweight action at its finest. And we'll talk about how this is a last chance for Ricochet as well in moments, ladies and gentlemen. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, this may be his first opportunity to qualify for the Cruiserweight Championship match. However, he was a participant in the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship. He lost in the first round to the phenomenal AJ Styles. So Ricochet looking to bounce back. A second chance at championship gold for him. And a second chance at a road to the pay-per-view backlash in a couple of weeks. Ricochet, of course, qualifies as a cruiserweight. That's how he's able to participate in this matchup tonight. 
one of the greatest junior heavyweights of the independent scene for many years, now looking to punch his ticket to possibly win the Cruiserweight Championship for the very first time on pay-per-view. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Triple threat, Cruiserweight action. Three men, hungrier than ever. A second chance at gold, this is going to be good. Angel Garza, Jordan Devlin, Ricochet. The bell has rung and things are underway here at Backlash. We're here at Backlash, here on Main Event, as the road to Backlash continues. I'm excited for the Backlash pay-per-view, if you couldn't tell, man. We were talking about it a lot tonight. Things are heating up just a couple of short weeks away. You guys are not going to want to miss that. So who is going to be the one to punch their ticket? The golden opportunity for that sixth and final spot in the matchup. It's Jordan Devlin, nice springboard tornado DDT to Ricochet. So he's now unloading on Angel Garza. Definitely got to keep eyes in the back of your head in a match like this. Three men. There's one fall to a finish. Anything can happen at any time when you got three cruiserweights in there. You know things are going to be fast-paced, high risk, high reward. Prepare to have your mind blown as Jordan Devlin. Beautiful double stomp there and a great way to get into that maneuver too. Very unique from the Irish ace himself. Ricochet in here. Here's Angel Garza. Tried going for that springboard elbow, but you notice it was Jordan Devlin who was already on his way down out of the ring because of a shot by Ricochet. Devlin's out. We got Garza and Ricochet one-on-one -on -one momentarily. The thing about triple threat matches, if you eliminate one participant, you can kind of turn things in to a one-on-one -on -one match, at least for a few moments. It can kind of make things easier to try to pick up a victory we don't have to have eyes in the back of your head for at least a moment. You also got to keep your mind on the fact that that third participant could be back in the ring at any time as Jordan Devlin makes his way back into the ring as Angel Garza is now in control of Ricochet. Devlin takes Garza down, another double stomp there. Watch out for this Irish competitor, man. As we've mentioned a few times, he's a former Cruiserweight champion in his own right. He couldn't defend that title for quite some time during the pandemic. He was stuck in Ireland. Came back to the United States, unfortunately lost the Cruiserweight Championship to Santos Escobar. And now he's looking, now part of the main roster once again here is the Cruiserweight division. Now he's looking to become a Cruiserweight Champion for a second time in the WWE. He's a big time clothesline from the top from the Irish Ace. Jordan Devlin, I gotta say, he's been the all-star of this matchup thus far. Really looking impressive as Ricochet's trying to battle back here. But Jordan Devlin takes control. Now Garza in the ring. Sit out power bomb. And you gotta think, I mean, Angel Garza just participated in a matchup most recently of the three. It was last week on main event. Ricochet's had a a little over a week to rest since his match against AJ Styles. Jordan Devlin, we haven't seen him in action since the first episode of Main Event, which was a couple of weeks ago as well. So Angel Garza, the, you gotta imagine, the least fresh of the three here as he had that epic over 10 minute matchup with Rey Mysterio last week. Who knows, will that pay dividends or will that actually kind of aid him since he has been in the ring most recently? Comes Ricochet out of nowhere. Look at this. Tilt to whirl. Head scissors. Down goes Garza. As Ricochet's looking to take control now. He takes control over both men. He's one of the greatest junior heavyweights of the independent scene for many years. Look to finally punch his ticket for a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity for the first time in WWE. Ricochet. Oh, look at that. He was going for a big time maneuver on Devlin. He hit the ropes, but Garza cut him off. Sends him in the air. Hits him with that kick, and now down goes Ricochet. Into the cover. But Jordan Devlin's right there, man. That is the, the struggle of triple threat matches, having to keep your eyes in the back of your head. That could have been all. Angel Garza could have just punched his ticket. Look at that. Devlin eats knees to the chest. As Ricochet's looking to get back into this now. He bounced off Garza, but he wasn't there. A little bit too much separation as Angel sends him right on the knee. First, it was Jordan Devlin who started controlling this match in the early going. Now it seems Angel Garza has got things in his corner. Devlin's on the outside. Garza is eyeing up the one and only Ricochet. And Ricochet with a counter. Nice fireman's carry takeover. And a nice kick again. Ricochet. Garza's up against the ropes. Nice kick. 
Ricochet, as we mentioned, he battled AJ Styles a couple of weeks ago. It was a great matchup. And you can always say a little bit of an embarrassing loss, not in the sense that he didn't get the, his hand raised that night, but it was AJ Styles who used Ricochet's own move against him. That needed a face code breaker style maneuver that Ricochet normally pulls out. AJ used that against his, Ricochet himself and was able to get the victory to advance to the semifinals of this coming, on this coming Monday's Raw in the number one contenders tournament. Ricochet definitely looking to gain momentum back since losing in the first round and obviously not moving on to fight Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship at Backlash. And he's starting to brawl to the outside here. Nice shot by Garza. We got Devlin over there. All three men on the outside of the ring. The most dangerous place to be. Who knows what can happen when all three men are battling here at ringside. Garza takes down Devlin. Ricochet's right there. Man, you gotta watch, man. Triple threat matches. Arms and legs can be flying at you from any, from any given spot, at any given moment. Ricochet's back in, Devlin's back in, Garza back in. This three-way takes it inside the square. Circle, nice German suplex by Jordan Devlin, and Ricochet takes him down. Great offense here in this Cruiserweight matchup. But there's another one from Jordan Devlin. Beautiful German. Gars is out. This may be Devlin's time to take over and punch his ticket to backlash. Ricochet is dazed. They, Devlin might want to take advantage. Look at this. He's got him on the shoulders. Cradles him out. Big time maneuver. That's going to be all. Jordan Devlin going to punch his ticket, but Angel Garza broke it up at the last second. Angel Garza got in and broke up the pinfall at the last second, but Jordan Devlin takes him out with a springboard DDT. Springboard Moot Salt. Jordan Devlin, the Irish ace, is absolutely taking over. And if it wasn't for the triple threat matchup here, I gotta think Devlin would have just won. Ricochet cuts Devlin in half. Inside the ring now, nice pump kick. Angel Garza, oh, I didn't even notice. Angel Garza's been busted open. German suplex. There's Ricochet with the knee. What's, what great action, Ricochet. No, Garza gets the shoulder up. Jordan Devlin's out. I didn't even notice Angel Garza's been busted wide open. Ricochet inside the ring. Follows it up with knee number two. The one and only punches his ticket to backlash. What a sequence of events to close out this matchup, man. An awesome cruiserweight triple threat matchup. These guys throwing everything on the line with a golden opportunity awaiting. And there's that first knee from Ricochet, followed up by another. Here is your winner, Ricochet! And Ricochet punches his ticket to the Backlash pay-per-view. What a triple threat match here tonight on Main Event. Credit to all three competitors. Well, let's take a look at the updated field. Mansoor, Santos Escobar, Grand Metalik, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Rey Mysterio and Ricochet. The vacant Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line in a six-pack challenge at the Backlash pay-per-view. Well, coming up on the next episode of Universe Mode, the semifinals of the number one contenders WWE Championship Tournament. AJ Styles takes on Damian Priest. That's going to be an absolutely extraordinary matchup. And also in the semifinals, Mustafa Ali coming up a big upset against Seth Rollins. Takes on the Claymore King himself. Drew McIntyre, two absolutely extraordinary semifinal matches coming up on Monday Night Raw this following week. Well, let's get to our main event here tonight as the road to backlash continues. Let's take focus on the Intercontinental Championship. And here comes the number one contender for that Intercontinental Championship gold, the man who defeated Samoa Joe to earn that right a couple of weeks ago, the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Well, as we mentioned, coming up at Backlash, the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. Champion Shinsuke Nakamura defends 
against number one contender, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. That is going to be an awesome matchup. Two strong style competitors, heavy hitting competitors, going to battle it out. For the Intercontinental Gold on pay-per-view, I cannot wait for that collision. And both guys are going to build some momentum towards that matchup in this tag team fight here tonight. As Sheamus, the number one contender, looking in incredible shape, looking set for action. As we await his tag team partner, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Here comes the former WWE Champion himself, Jinder Mahal. This is going to be a good one. And his partner from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal on the side of Sheamus tonight. And of course, as you already know, Finn Balor will be on the side of Shinsuke Nakamura. A couple weeks ago on Raw that Finn Balor and Nakamura went one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. And Nakamura picked up the win on that night. Respect was shown. It was a great matchup. So now these two will align tonight to challenge these two bulls. The number one contender, Sheamus, and that man himself, Jinder Mahal. But here comes the Prince, Finn Balor. Who after that loss to his tag team partner, Shinsuke Nakamura, a couple of weeks ago, as we just mentioned, definitely looking to get back in the winning ways of things here tonight. And their opponents first from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. I'm sure Finn Balor not only wants to get back in the winning column, but would love to get back into the, into the hunt, excuse me, for the Intercontinental Championship. The champion's on his side tonight, but a win alongside the Intercontinental Champion might possibly put Finn Balor in line for whoever walks out of Backlash with the Intercontinental Gold, whether it's still Nakamura or new Sheamus. Either way, Finn Balor is looking... He definitely punch his ticket for a future opportunity. Can he do that tonight necessarily? No. But can he start building momentum towards that? Absolutely. And that all remains to be seen here tonight. I cannot wait for this coming Monday on Raw, ladies and gentlemen, as we already discussed. AJ Styles and Damian Priest, one-on-one -on -one in the semifinals of the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship. On the other side of the bracket, it will be Mustafa Ali going one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre. The winner of those two matches moves on to next week's Raw. The week after that, to fight it out one-on-one, -on -one, just days before the Backlash pay-per-view, to decide who fights Bobby Lashley in the main event. A lot of exciting stuff going on in our universe. But here comes the Intercontinental Champion. This guy has been on a roll lately, Shinsuke Nakamura. Listen to the ovation. From Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Key Nakamura. Well, as we mentioned, Nakamura's been on a roll as of late. He owns that victory over his partner tonight, Finn Balor, a couple of weeks ago, where he retained the Intercontinental Championship. And it was this past week on Raw. Nakamura defeated Apollo Crews one-on-one. -on -one. Sheamus tried sticking his nose in that matchup, but after a little bit of a distraction, Apollo Crews took advantage. The referee throwing out the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and in the end, Nakamura was able to battle back and defeat Apollo Crews. It was our opening match this past Monday Night Raw. Definitely go check that out if you missed it. But Nakamura looking to keep his momentum going into backlash tonight. As we are set for our main event, Sheamus, General Hall versus Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura. Let's get things underway. The bell is rung. There's a collar and elbow tie-up from our two Irish competitors in the ring right now. And Sheamus early on, look at this, going to look to showcase some of his strength. He's definitely going to look to send a message to his backlash opponent as Finn Balor goes down off that delayed suplex. Sheamus with an A. Oh, I think he, oh, man. 
early on. I think he just hit Finn Balor in the right place. I think he might have cut Balor over the eyebrow. This match just kicking off, but Sheamus, I think he caught Finn Balor right in the right spot with that knee. And oh yeah, Finn Balor's definitely got a cut over the eyebrow, somewhere on the forehead. Finn Balor got cut. I mean, Sheamus got those knee pads on, but I mean, you still, you get knee in the right spot. It's gonna crack you. This match is just getting underway, and with Finn Balor getting bloodied early on, that is certainly not gonna pay dividends for him. If anything, it's just gonna aid a possible victory for Mahal. And Sheamus is Mahal, look at this! Ties up Finn Balor and brings him down to the mat below. Finn Balor is in trouble early on, you see? That has already become a target of Mahal and Sheamus. Deliver the knees to the head. Finn Balor bleeds a little bit, he bleeds a little more. He's gonna get tired faster and that is only gonna aid Sheamus and, and Jinder Mahal. It's Finn Balor, look at this, able to get Sheamus in the corner. He tags in the Intercontinental Champion and the two men who will battle it out of backlash with the legal men. Here we get an early preview of Shinsuke Nakamura and Sheamus, one on one. Pay close attention here, because this is what you're going to be seeing on pay-per-view in a couple of weeks. Nakamura with the strikes. Went for that kick, but Sheamus, look at that, sends him out of the ring. Nakamura in complete control over his number one contender right now. That knee sends Sheamus flying to the outside. Well, I don't know if that's the, the, the right idea, Sheamus. You might want to get back in there. The Intercontinental Champion is eyeing you up. Sheamus decided to talk to the crowd, and the champion took advantage. Oh, sends, sends Sheamus into the, the wrong corner. I don't think Nakamura realizes, but Jinder Mahal makes the tag and takes out Nakamura. Jinder Mahal with the blind tag on Shinsuke Nakamura. And now Jinder, the legal man. Mahal and Nakamura have a lot of history. These two did battle for a, a couple of months during Jinder Mahal's WWE Championship reign back in 2017. And Hall, whether you like it or not, was victorious every single time over Shinsuke Nakamura. So you gotta think in this matchup, Mahal's kind of the one with the, with the advantage. Look at this, gonna go for a suplex. There you go, Mahal is taking control and brung momentum into his corner. The blind tag definitely aiding the modern-day Maharaja here. Look at Nakamura, just, just trying to trick out Jinder Mahal. And it clearly pays dividends as he takes Mahal off his feet. Nakamura is definitely taking a load in this matchup. And there's the tag to Finn. Finn Balor, he may be bloody, he might even have a concussion, but he's gonna try to pick up the win in this matchup. As we mentioned, what's on the line for Finn Balor is definitely just getting momentum back in his corner. And possibly putting himself in line for a future Intercontinental Championship matchup if he can defeat the number one contender here tonight. As Jinder is down, excuse me, Finn Balor working away on the Celtic Warrior. Irish whip to Sheamus. Sheamus, look at that, not even able to stay on his feet. He may be concussed after that drop kick from Finn Balor a few moments ago. Finn may be bloody, but he's coming swinging here over Sheamus. Sends him in, nice forearm. Make it two. Sheamus goes down. And now Finn, he's going to the top rope. Could he be looking for the coup de grace early? No, instead he went for a splash. But Sheamus got the knees up. Sheamus with the knees up over Finn. You see in the corner over there, Jinder Mahal back to his feet. With somewhat back to a standstill now. And Sheamus got to Finn Balor on his shoulders. Oh boy. Down goes the Prince. Sheamus lays out Finn, and he tags in the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal as he's clearly sticking a strategy here. Jinder goes for the cover. But Finn able to get the shoulder up, Nakamura in. But look at this, Nakamura and Sheamus. These two are going to brawl now. Sheamus sends Nakamura to the outside after coming from behind. And now Jinder Mahal working away on Finn Balor in the ring. The backlash participants are going out on the outside. Mahal and Balor brawling in the ring here. Things are starting to break down in our final contest here tonight on WWE Main Event. Mahal drops Balor with the GDT. The momentum clearly in the corner of Mahal and Sheamus. Balor gets the shoulder up just after two. I remember Finn Balor's got that open wound on the forehand. Mahal clearly taking advantage of it here. 
And Balor, he's not done yet. He takes Jinder off his feet. As Sheamus and Nakamura still brawling it out on the outside here. And now Finn Balor, oh, look at this. He ties up Jinder Mahal. Down goes Mahal. And Balor could be heading up. Will he be looking for the coup de grace here? Nails it on Jinder Mahal. Coup de grace into the cover. Is that going to do it? Now Jinder gets the shoulder up and Sheamus also getting in there to break it up at the same time. Well, Balor's wound is getting, is getting messy here, man. That's definitely going to affect the vision of Finn Balor and clearly going to be taking him off balance. That might have been Finn Balor's final blow. It clearly took a lot out of him. Jinder Mahal is back in control of this matchup. You also got to think not many people kick out of the coup de gras. Is there a chance that it just wasn't delivered as impactful? Because of the wound open on Finn Balor's head, clearly going to make his offense just a little less impactful than usual. All speculation, all possibility, but it is quite possible as Finn Balor now is in the ring with the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus once again. Sheamus with Balor over his shoulder, slams down the Prince. Intercontinental Champion Nakamura once in this matchup, but they are having their way with a bloodied Finn right now. He ties up out. Oh, wait a minute. Shinsuke Nakamura came in and Sheamus caught the Intercontinental Champion with a bro kick. And he catches Finn Balor with one, two. Back to back bro kicks. One to the bloody Prince. And there is your winner. What an impressive victory. The Intercontinental Champion got in the ring. He got struck from his number one contender out of nowhere with a bro kick. And then the bloody Prince Finn Balor takes a kick right to the forehead, right to the open wound. And after back-to-back -back kicks, there's one, there's another. Here there are your winners. You want to talk about building momentum, look no further, as Sheamus is clearly on a hot streak on the way to Backlash. Sheamus and Jinder Mahal picking up the win tonight. Could we be looking at a future Intercontinental Champion? Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on Universe Mode Episode 7 for Monday Night Raw.